Welcome back to another video, guys. I have a bit of a hot take. Um, I don't think Kanye West's Like That remix is, like, that good. And I think it's kind of overrated or bad. Um, as a standalone diss, I think it doesn't really work. But I guess it wasn't meant to be a standalone diss regardless. And if it is just trying to, like, help Kendrick out in diss and Drake, I still don't think it did a good job doing that. Throughout the whole diss, I, I feel like there are only, like, two memorable lines the whole diss throughout. And that is the Play Jato line. And J. Cole just got caught a straight for no reason. That is a play J. Cole line and then the uh, Where's Lucy and Sylvie Master line. And then that's that's the whole thing. And the whole this, well, Connie's part in the whole this is like, I think two minutes or one minute, 30 seconds. And I'm a little bit disappointed because I would rather you just not this at all or you have your own diss track against Drake separately, not using the beat from like that. And let's go over to the lyrics over here. I have it on my screen. Um, <clears throat> like a lot of the verses, a lot of the lines are, are just callbacks to other songs that have been made in the past and are just referencing either what Kanye did in the past or what Kendrick did in the past or what other people said in other songs. So he's just saying the same thing in a different way. And I think that's like a, a hit that like, you know, he don't got his lyricism like that anymore. And it just seemed like very forced. Like throwing yourself in to help Kendrick, but like also trying to put yourself in the spotlight. I don't know. It just it wasn't really necessary in my opinion. Um, like can't stop, who stop was like a callback to some other like group album, I guess. Uh, and then another part of it is just him bragging, I guess, the usual. And then shouldn't have never, never let him get money again. Like what is that even? How does that help Kendrick and Dyson Drake? How does that help you and Dyson Drake? What does that really mean? I, I mean, I know what it means, though. It means, like, okay, he's back. He has money again, but, like, that doesn't really do anything. Um, <clears throat> on my cat, Williams, when he got funny again. Uh, titanium grills call that smile on the rocks. Like, what does that mean? Because what's the point of the track? If you're trying to help Kendrick out, what does that, how does that help Kendrick? How does that help you? How does that diss Drake or anyone else? That's just like, what, braggadocia is it called? Like, that's just bragging, I guess. But like, as far as the track goes, that's why I'm saying that the track is not that good because you have lines like these that don't really do anything. Um, then he says, I met a drill too. I ain't gonna lie, it was chop. That's another like callback, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, to something else. Um, and then Ty, Ty Dolla Sign comes in saying, saying, like, watch one, two, and three on repeat. And then he said, still feel like Pablo, drug dealer, chic. And I really like the, the Life of Pablo as an album. And that's a reference to his track with, like, uh, Kenneth Lamar called No More Parties in Ali. And I'm fine with that. It's just, again, that doesn't really do anything. And that's just references that he's making to different tracks and different artists and uh, different tracks that Kanye did as well. And that's not really helping Kendrick's case. He's just basically like, it's like when you try to like increase the words in an essay for school and you just, yeah, you just say extra stuff for no reason. And it doesn't relate to what you're trying to say at all. Um, so yeah, like I said, only two memorable lines. That is a J. Cole diss. And then he said, where's Lucy and Sylvie Master? That's a good one. But then right before the J. Cole diss, he says, I can't even think of a Drake line. So he just like, he just shot himself in the foot, like, because... Drake is like your arch nemesis or whatever, if you guys were Superman and like whatever villain, and you can't even think of a Drake line. Like, really, Kanye? Like, it's either you can't think of a Drake line because you suck currently, just being real, and then, but like, don't say that, like, or don't make the diss at all, or rewrite it so that you actually have something to say. Because I know what it means. It's trying to say, like, okay, I can't even think of this and this person because they're so below me, but. It didn't have that effect in my opinion. It just seems like Kanye's losing his lyricism, and that's an easy escape for not having to think of anything to say. And then, yeah, that's basically it. That's the whole diss track against, that's the whole remix. And and another problem I had with the track is, I don't know, I don't really like Kanye's flow. It's like he's trying to sing or like rap at the same time, but he has to like a weird flows to his voice. Uh, let me show you an example. It's, it's so funny. It's like, in one part he's like, and I invented drill too. I know mine was chopped. Like, why did he say it like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's trying to like, 
he's not standing on a key or something. He's just singing. He's just talking. But uh, that's just a nitpick anyway. But yeah, that's about it. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Like, I'm a county fan or a county listener. But like, yeah, I'm not going to like not call out what I think is like kind of trash, I guess. So, um, yeah, peace.